a microcomputer system. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about microcomputer. What do you understand by microcomputer? Micro means too small and computer means which computes something. A microcomputer has three basic blocks. A central processing unit or CPU, a memory unit or RAM, and an output input unit. The CPU executes instructions of a program and performs arithmetic and logic operations on data. The CPU of the microcomputer is called the microprocessor. The microprocessor is typically a single VLSI or very large scale integration chip that contains all the registers, control units, and arithmetic logic circuits of the microcomputer. A memory unit stores both data and instructions on ROM and RAM chips. A RAM is used to store programs and data that are temporary and might change during the course of executing a program. An input-output unit transfers information that is data, status, and control signals between the microcomputer and the external devices via input-output ports. Many types of microcomputers are available today that vary in the number of data and address bits and types of control signals they use. To carry out program execution, information in the form of data and control signals needs to be transferred via address bars and control bars, data bars, address bars. This bars is unidirectional, that is, data flows only in one direction from the microprocessor to the memory or input output. Address bars is typically 20 to 32 bits long. The address bus is specified by the total number of address pins on the microprocessor chip. For example, a microprocessor with 20 address pins can generate 2 exponent 20, which is equal to 1,048,576 or 1 megabyte from 0 to 1,048,575, that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, to the base 16 through FFFFF to the base 16. Different possible addresses on 20 address pins, that is A0 to A19. The generated 20 address bits are then decoded to determine the desired memory location via decoders. Data bus. This bus is bidirectional, that is, Data flows to or from the microprocessor. The width of the data bus depends on processor architecture, whether it is 8-bit, 16-bit, or 32-bit. An 8-bit bus can represent two exponent 8 numbers from 0 to 255. Control bus. It consists of the control signals, which are used to synchronize the operation of the individual components. It carries commands from the microcomputer and returns status signals from the devices. If the data is being read or written to the device, the appropriate line, read or write, will be activated. The power of the microcomputer is determined by the capabilities of the microprocessor. Its clock frequency determines the speed of the microcomputer. The number of data and address pins on the microprocessor chip makes up the microcomputer's word size and maximum memory size, respectively. The logic inside the microprocessor chip can be divided into three main areas. The register section, the control unit, and the arithmetic and logic unit, or ALU. Registers. A processor or CPU has various types of registers each having a specialized function to perform. The program stored in memory is in form of sequence of instructions. There are many 32-bit and 64-bit processor and architecture available too. Now let's look at various CPU registers commonly used in 16-bit configuration. Program counter, or PC. 
It holds the memory address of the next instruction to be executed. This register needs only 12 bits. Instruction register. It stores the current instruction to be executed. After fetching an instruction code from memory, the microprocessor stores it in the instruction register. For example, 16-bit CPU has a 16-bit instruction register. The address register. It is used to keep track of the memory locations the instruction is addressing. This register is also 12-bit register. When an operand or data is found, it is placed in the data register. The processor uses the value stored in the data register for its operation. The basic computer has only one general purpose register, which is the accumulator. Temporary register. It is used to store intermediate results or other temporary data. The input register. It is used to hold an 8-bit character data sent from an input device. The output register. It is used to hold an 8-bit character data to be sent to an output device. Accumulator. For 16-bit microprocessor, the accumulator is typically 16-bit register and holds the result of ALU operations. These microprocessors have instructions to shift or rotate the accumulator one bit to the right or left through the carry flag.